guys welcome back to another video I had a request here to do a, do a video on the fluid building a fluid bed uh, I got these two end caps and this uh, two inch couplet at uh, Lowe's for 368 I already had this uh, two inch pipe uh, this one is uh, four and a half inches wait a minute I'm not sure about that three and a half inches this one's three and a half inches and this is an inch and a half so you will need five inches of pipe they sell this in two foot sections at Lowe's for eleven dollars and something so uh, you can get four fluid beds out of a two foot piece so uh, that'd be about what uh, three dollars plus three sixty eight But you're going to need a, a short piece of pipe to put up in in your coupling so your end cap will fit on. And we're going to glue that end cap. Uh, I've got some of this uh, PVC cement where I've been doing some plumbing work. Uh, you can use glue, I suppose, if you want to. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my uh, inch and a half piece and I'm going to go ahead and put me some PVC cement around that I'm going to put one of my end caps in there I'm going to set that there and let it dry uh, while I'm doing that Get me a piece of paper. I'm just going to set my two inch coupling down on it. Just, this is just regular copy paper. Uh, I think you can use newspaper. Or, or, uh, some people say you can use copy filters. I just use regular copy paper. Seems to work fine. <clears throat> around your coupling. Go ahead and cut that circle out. Okay. Set that stuff aside. You can see your, your paper's going to sit right down on top of your uh, coupling. Then you'll take your uh, this one. You'll probably have to set it on the floor to mash it down in there. Uh, but uh, first let's go back and uh, this should be about set up by now uh, I'm going to go back on the inside of this with some more of this PVC cement I want to it should be sealed good already but I'm going to make sure there's no no air can get through there so that's all the cement we'll be using some cement when we stick it up in there but anyway we're going to let it dry uh, we're going to take our coupling put the three and a half piece of uh, inch piece of uh, PVC up on it right on top of your paper smash it down in there you'll have to sit it down on the floor to get it down in there all the way And we're going to take our uh, PVC once again. We're going to go right around the inside of it. Put it right down on top of our one inch piece. Set that in the floor as well. On it. Okay, I'm going to put my glue up here and we'll let that set up for just a minute. Then we're going to drill our hole in it uh, to put our, put our fitting in it. 
you're going to need one of these fittings. Uh, you can get them at uh, Walmart uh, to attach your tubing to. And we've also got an end cap just to, just to keep that on top to keep your paint from getting getting anything in it. But uh, let's go ahead. We've got a 3 16 inch drill bit. And I'm going to take and drill a hole in that tube. Just a second, I've got some uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got a rubber mallet here. I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little bit of Sally Hansen on the end of that. this Sally Hansen for just about anything. I'm just going to take the rubber mount. Right there you go. And that's about all there is to the fluid bed, guys. Uh, cost about Probably about seven bucks all together by the time you count your little fittings. You can get a bunch of these in a box at Walmart for a little bit of nothing. Uh, and I'm going to show you my setup I've got here for my pump. I can use, uh, I've got three different, uh, let me get this out of the way. I've got three different hoses here. I can run three different fluid beds. I've got my Cut off sire to regulate the air. Uh, I think I ordered those off of Amazon. But guys, this uh, this tubing and this stuff is real cheap. Uh, I give twenty some dollars, I think, for this uh, this pump. But you can get those small ones. That uh, let's see if I've got. I think I've got one. Out. Sorry about that. I don't know where I left off at, but these, uh, these you'll need some of these cutoffs. I think I got these on Amazon, maybe Walmart. I can't remember, but uh, uh, got these cutoffs right here. And uh, anyway, need some of this tube, and it's real cheap. But uh, this uh, this is just one of those little pumps from Walmart. I think it costs five dollars. See there how it, uh, how it moves around when you put the air to it like liquid. Uh, this part here could be a little shorter. Wouldn't hurt it a bit. Matter of fact, I may go back and cut it off just a little bit. But uh, that, uh, does a real good job painting those jig heads on these fluid beds. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, hope that helped you a little bit on uh, 
I'm building one of those fluid beds I had company there in the middle of it kind of kind of got off track but uh, that uh, that one piece there I said should be three and a half uh, you probably want to make that two and a half makes it a little easier about uh, about dipping your jigs in there uh, I went back and cut an inch off mine but uh, but uh, like I said, you can get those little pumps out of Walmart for around five bucks. You can get those fittings out there too. Uh, it's very simple to build those fluid beds. Uh, but uh, after you get, uh, when you cut that that one piece down to two and a half instead of three and a half, you you'll be able to get uh, I don't know five or six uh, uh, five or six fluid beds out of one of those two foot pieces of pipe. So it's that's a pretty good deal, about six bucks a piece. That's not bad, uh, but uh, pretty good little hobby. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you like them, just be sure and hit like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.